Since the president took office, over two million new workers are out of work. Last week, President Obama was given the opportunity to turn America in the right direction. The Keystone Pipeline would instantly create thousands of jobs without costing the taxpayers a dime. It would also strengthen our alliance with neighboring Canada and wean our energy dependence from the Middle East. The Keystone Pipeline was in America's best interests. Yet the president rejected this pipeline and the American people by siding with the liberal environmentalists instead, just as he did with Solyndra. As we heard tonight, this president still believes big government is the answer. But the American people want the government to get out of their way. They want to be left alone. They want to run their businesses as they please without job-killing regulations and taxes suffocating their prosperity. The president spoke tonight on shared sacrifice and tax reform, except his idea of reform isn't lowering tax, tax rates for anyone or simplifying a tax code that is far too complicated. It isn't a reform based on fairness or common sense economics. Instead, President Obama's idea of tax reform is one built on the foundation of class envy. Our system of free enterprise rewards hard work, prosperity, and success, and that is what we should embrace. We should be proud of the system that has made our country the wealthiest and most humanitarian nation in the history of the world. The way forward is to embrace what we know works, decreased government spending, lower taxes, and a lessened regulatory burden. The EPA regulations alone that have been implemented by the Obama administration have cost over 5% of our annual GDP the equivalent of the cost of our national security and homeland security combined. And since the EPA regulations have expanded, unemployment in America has increased by 33 percent. The president's vision for our America differs from ours. We believe, as President Reagan said in his inaugural address, that government is the problem, not the solution. Only by unleashing the greatness of American individualism can we grow our way out of this recession. I hope the president will come to understand this and that he will work with Republicans to get an overzealous federal government out of the way. When he gives up on bipartisanship, he gives up on our nation. Ultimately, we want representatives in Washington who respect and admire business, the free market, and the individual. That day cannot come soon enough. I continue to invite the president to work with us, as I have asked him on several times before. It is time for him to set aside his political agenda and work together to get our country and to get us back on our feet again. Unless the president starts working with Congress on behalf of the prosperity of the American people, we can only assume his words tonight's were no more than empty promises. Thank you and God bless America.